What's going on, Alabama fans? Chris Daughtry here with the Alabama Football Report. And coming up on today's show, we're going to be breaking down some of the latest buzz coming out of the Elite 11 Finals out in California for star corner or quarterback for Alabama. Keelan Russell is out there, as well as a five-star defensive lineman coming in for an official visit this weekend after decommitting from the school that he was previously committing to. We're also going to be talking a little bit about how we're going to replace Caleb Downs in the defensive backfield for Alabama, as well as some betting odds for win totals in the SEC. But before we get into that, I just want to give some shout outs to some of our recent subscribers here on the Alabama Football Report. We appreciate you guys for subscribing here. So Baby Soda, here for Vibes Only, Guy Lopez, Miss April, Courtney Jackson, we appreciate all of you guys and girls for subscribing here to the Alabama Football Report. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me right now. First up here on the show, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Elite 11 Finals going on right now in Southern California. Alabama quarterback commit Keelan Russell is participating in those events, and I really like the Elite 11 Finals. It gives these recruiting sites a chance to, you know, see all of these quarterbacks side by side, you know, give them a chance to be able to you know, compare and contrast some of the positives and negatives about their game. So going into it, Charles Powers from On3 put out his top five quarterbacks from day one of the Elite 11 Finals. Hassan Longstreet, he's a four-star quarterback from or committed to Texas A&M. He was the day one MVP for Charles Powers. Tavion Saint, or Tavian St. Clair, five-star quarterback for, uh, committed to Ohio State. He put him ranked number two. And then the Alabama commit, Keelan Russell, four-star. Uh, he had him ranked at number three. And then you have Notre Dame commit, Deuce Knight at four. And then Tramel Jones, the Florida State commit, at five. This is what Charles Powers said about Keelan Russell in his day one showing. He said, Keelan Russell showed a live arm and bouncy movement skills on day one of the Elite 11 Finals. Russell's arm stacked up well against the group. He was able to generate velocity on his passes and drive the ball to the far hash with ease. The Duncanville High School signal caller consistently spun the ball well and displayed noticeable twitch throughout the workouts. Russell can continue improving the refinement in his drops as he mainly operates out of the shotgun at the high school level, but the movement skills uh, point to room for growth in that regard. Russell seems to get better and better over the course of the night and goes into day two with very positive momentum. Now, we've talked about Keelan Russell a lot. He is Alabama's quarterback commit here in the 2025 recruiting class, and these are his high school stats in the past two years he led Duncanville High School to back-to-back -back state championship titles, and the kid has gotten better and better throughout the two seasons that he has played high school. In 2022, 15 games played. You see it right there, 66, almost 67% completion percentage, about 23, just under 2,400 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and 203 rushing yards. And you can see in 2023, how much improvement he got. 72% uh, completion percentage, almost 3,500 passing yards, 44 total touchdowns. It's just insane ratio compared to three interceptions. That's something that you really want in a quarterback commit. Somebody, you know, who takes care of the ball and is able to distribute it and you know, at the end of the day, he's, he's getting the ball in the receiver's hands, and that's what you want your quarterback to do. He's also been a threat on the ground, 361 yards. The kid is really fast, too. That's one of the big things that I like a lot about Keelan Russell, as well as the fact that he takes care of the football. So right now, Keelan Russell is only a four-star recruit in this 2025 recruiting class, but he is up there in the rankings in that five-star territory. So this is your chance to get in the comments right now. Let me know, do you think Keelan Russell, by the time those final recruiting rankings come out around the December, January time, whenever it comes out, 
Do you think he's going to be a five-star quarterback? Type Y for yes or N for no in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, that's fine. You don't want to watch it anyways. Just go ignore it. Go down to the pinned comment and reply Y for yes or N for no. Five-star defensive lineman Justice Terry has decommitted from USC and has almost immediately, one day later, set up an official visit with Alabama. Coming up uh, this weekend, this all breaking, I believe it was all yesterday, from Chad Simmons of On3. And Justice Terry, just an elite name. I know a lot of people, especially in the comment section, have been asking about this defensive line class. You know, Alabama's only got two defensive linemen in this class, in Antonio Coleman and um, London Simmons, and possibly a third one here, maybe, who knows? You know, um, as soon as he decommitted, Chad's, uh, yeah, Chad Simmons of On3 already put in an official prediction for him to commit to Georgia because he was already committed to Georgia at one point. He was committed to Georgia from Georgia, the number two player in the state, Ended up flipping uh, to USC after his um, official visit to USC. Um, he so, yeah, so he canceled. He was supposed to go to USC this weekend. Decided against it, decided to cancel that visit, and ended up uh, scheduling an official visit with Alabama. Like I said, a five-star recruit in this 2025 class, number seven overall, the number two defensive lineman and the number two player from the state of Georgia, from Manchester High School in Georgia. We want to give a shout out to Fanatics. They are our sponsor today on the show. Get up to 30% off on your Alabama football jerseys. You can get customizable jerseys. You can get alumni jerseys. You can get jerseys from guys on the team right now. Just go to chatsports.com slash Alabama jerseys. Like I said, you can get some of those customizable ones, some of these alumni ones. You can get a Bryce Young one. Shoot, you can go get you a uh, Jalen Milrow one. I mean, he's on the team this year. Get ready for game day. Get ready for some Alabama football. Just go to chatsports.com slash Alabama jersey. That link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. And there will also be a little clickable link right over there that you guys can click on. So a very interesting story, I thought, coming out of Ohio State uh, yesterday, claiming that Caleb Downs had been working with the running backs in Ohio State during the spring, both attending meetings and doing some drills. This is what Ryan Day said about it. This is what he told uh, Cleveland.com about Caleb Downs at that running back position. He said it was part of the recruiting process, possibly doing a little bit of running backs as well. Um, it, is so, it is something that he wanted to do. Uh, we've, been ha we've been having him in some of the meetings and some of the individual drills as a possibility there if needed down the road as we continue to build the depth at that position. So that was what Ryan Day said about it. And to me, it's like, what, what, what are we even talking about here? Why, why are you telling a guy that he could possibly play a little bit of running back, knowing damn well you've got two running backs that are going to go either in the first or second round of the NFL draft. They've got Quinshawn Junkins, the transfer from Ole Miss, as well as Travion Henderson. I don't understand why, why that's happening, but we're not focusing on Ohio State. We're focusing on Alabama here. This is what Caleb Downs did for you last year. He was the best player, in my opinion, on defense for you last year, even though he was a freshman. Only allowed 64.7% completion percentage, which is a little higher, but he is a safety, and some of those, you know, attempts that go to him aren't necessarily his fault. He did get beat a couple times, but, you know, for the most part, Caleb Downs was a solid play player for us. 107 tackles led the team, three and a half tackles for loss, two interceptions, four pass breakups, and... That's going to be a lot of um, production that you're going to have to replace in the defensive backfield. I, I personally believe Malachi Moore, I think he's the best DB that we have right now. You know, he came out his freshman year a couple of years ago, played really, really well, especially for a freshman. And then his sophomore season took a little bit of a step back, but then his junior season came back and played really, really well for Alabama. He was at that nickel position, but I think that's going to translate well 
putting him back at that free safety position. I think between Malachi Moore and Keon Sab, I think we're going to be fine back there at safety. I've got no problems at all with those two guys back there. I think they're going to be fine. My biggest concern mainly is going to be the cornerback position, but you know, that's just going to have to, you know, that's going to be a wait and see thing. Back to the safeties though, even if one of these two guys go down, I think you have some options. Bray Hubbard, I'm really excited about what he is as a player, and I'm really excited about his ability. You know, whether or not he gets to play this year, it's gonna gonna be up in the air if he can get on the field. But I think he is a solid player in the defensive backfield. And I also think you could take somebody like Red Morgan, who's been working at that Husky position behind Devonta Smith, and if need be. I have total faith that you can put him at that free safety position as well. But this, in my opinion, is going to be one of the biggest question marks for Alabama coming up in this 2024 season. So what is your confidence level in the defensive back room or in the defensive back room for Alabama this year? I want you to scale it one on the low end, 10 on the high end. Get in the comments section and let me know what is your confidence level in the defensive backs? Before we go on today's show, I want to give a little bit of a uh, SEC win total predictions, if you will. These numbers are from Bet Online, the over under for these teams. They've got Georgia set at 10.5, Texas at 10.5. I would go the under for Texas, if I'm being honest with you guys. I think by the end of the year, that you know, coming over to the SEC is a different animal. I, I'm going to go the under on Texas. Missouri, they've got them set at 9.5. Had a very good season last year for the Tigers. Ole Miss, I think, is a really big sleeper in the SEC this year. They've got them set at 9.5. I think there's a very good chance Ole Miss could be... You, you could bet the over on that and feel pretty good about it. LSU, probably about right where they need to be at, about 9.5 wins. And they've got Alabama set at 9.5 wins. I believe... A couple weeks ago when we did our game-by-game game predictions, I had Alabama at 11 wins, I believe is what I had. So I would go with the over there for the Crimson Tide. Tennessee, they've got them set at 9. Texas A&M's at 8.5. Oklahoma at 7.5. And, and the Auburn Tigers also at 7.5. The rest of the SEC, I just kind of left them out because at that point, who really cares? But I'll tell you guys what it is. Kentucky at 6.5. South Carolina at five and a half, Arkansas at four and a half, Florida at four and a half. I kind of think the over on Florida, to be honest. I, you know, I, uh, DJ Lagway is really, really good, and you know, I think that's good value for Florida picking the over there. Mississippi State also at four and a half, and then Vanderbilt all the way down at the bottom at two and a half. So pick it for me right now in the comments section. What do you guys? Think for Alabama, over or under nine and a half wins in this 2024 season. If you're putting money down on it, let me know what you would do. Type O for over or U for under right now in the comments section.